Hi Aquarius, welcome to your end of the year forecast. Okay, we are going to look at the next three months because there is a lot going on over the next three months energetically and see what's going to happen for you. For those of you that are new, welcome. Okay, I am an intuitive. Much of what you see may not feel traditional. Just take what resonates, leave the rest for whoever else is here for the message. Uh, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. At the end of this next week, I will be doing a bonus video for the sign that gets the most love. Okay, so uh, help the channel out and I will gift back. All right. So for those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you so much. And I hope that this next three months treats you well. All right. So for the collective, right? Really listen to your gut Aquarius as you are moving through this. Because some of you are going to be having a lot put on your plate. Okay. And so it's going to be hard to remember to listen to that gut when you're stressed and anxious. Okay. So let's see what's going to go on here. All right. Let's look here for Aquarius. All right. October. Ooh. November. December. Now remember, because we just had that full moon, you may want to look at your moon sign because more of those messages might actually come out for you today. Okay, I'm going to pull a card here for what's going to be here. Okay, that one was not shuffled in properly. Let's reshuffle spirit this. Okay. Um, you may find that... Uh, there's messages that you really need in that moon sign. Because it doesn't happen all that often that I end up doing your reading on the other side of the moon. All right. You just need one. Thank you. And they still give me two. All right. Thank you. All right. So... Let's pull out some cards for October. And then we're going to go through this, okay? October for Aquarius. October for Aquarius. October for Aquarius. Now, you may also find, okay, we have some planets moving into retrograde in Aquarius. All right, so there may be more people that find themselves resonating with Aquarius this month than, you know, we would see normally. Okay, so November for Aquarius. Thank you. November for Aquarius. November for Aquarius. Thank you. All right. December. What's going to happen for December? Aquarius. Now, if you are new here, you can find everything you need down below. Okay. From donations to, um, okay, to decks that I like. Um, some that I use, some that I'm looking for, as well as links for personal readings. It's all down below, okay? The decks that I've created are also down below, okay? And how is Spirit helping you? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Wands, okay? You may be working through the next three months to really be able to kind of come in with this sort of freedom of, 
I am beating to my own drum, right? I know what I want. I'm going after what I want, okay? It could be that there's a lot of work going into this sort of energy of finding yourself. Now, at the heart of this, we've got the king and the kiss. Now, you may have gained some sort of like sign of approval I'm getting here on the king and that this seal of approval, okay, has you feeling very, very happy, but it also has you really kind of stuck in this place where it's almost as if you're like your um your emotions are tied in very very logically right like to almost like it's almost like an authoritarian sort of an energy but i feel that what's going to set you free is going to be the kiss and they're almost showing me kind of like, if you've gotten the seal of approval, right, it's going up higher. <laughs> okay, so if this has to do with work, where your boss has been like, oh, yeah, you're doing really great. And then your boss's boss, right, or the CEO of the company comes in and gives you the kiss on the ring. Oh, you're doing so well, right? Um but it's going to be something very unexpected, but it's something that you really, I feel like manifested months ago. Okay. So let's take a look here at October. All right. Energy, true love. You are definitely going through this mirroring energy and I feel like it's okay, an energy of going through this next portal sort of an energy right there's a lot you have to learn here again we have the sun coming in like you're being able to take your mask off okay you're being acknowledged things are coming in the way that they you know, you've been hoping and praying for them to, yeah, the star, like this is a wish. Again, you've manifested this and it is coming forward with the nine of wands here, though. Um, you were, you know, the thorns got you along the way, right? And so you're enjoying all of this, but you still feel a little bit guarded. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's take a look here. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, clarify with the sun. Again, whatever is coming in for you, this is a great period of, of happiness for you in October. Okay, queen of swords. Um, you could have been fearful that you weren't being seen in your authentic self and like you were going to have to defend yourself in some way. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, no, that's not the case whatsoever. But there's still the nine of wands. There's still the energy here, right? And I actually feel like these wounds attributed to you manifesting this because this star is going into the salt water, right? Cleansing you know, cleansing all of those wounds away, cleansing all of the negativity away. So it really is a very cleansing period for you in October. Now the mirroring, okay, that's happening here. Okay, no, not in reverse. The moon in reverse and Knight of Swords in reverse. you're seeing much more clearly how you kept yourself 
from moving forward in the past. And it is going to bring in a lot of emotions, a lot of work. And I feel like that's why there's so much healing that's going to have to go on as you move through October. Bottom of the deck, we do have both the Tower and the Five of Wands and the Devil, right? Like, you do have a lot of lessons that you're learning here. You are putting down your guard because this is what you asked for. But I do feel that, again, there's that fear at the back of your throat almost. Like, ugh, right? Is this really, is this really all coming? Okay. So, November. Okay. You're still in a little bit of that fear, but there's no reason to be fearful. Okay. Victim mentality. See, the rope is not attached to anything. You're very much going into November in a very emotional state. Okay, we've got the crossing energy of the Two of Wands. Like, part of it is the emotions of what happens when everything you feel like you've wanted from the world is gifted to you. Right? And you've been through this energy and you're like waiting for the other shoe to drop. Right? Yeah, the world, because you're like, no, I only ever get this little tiny bit. How could I be completing a cycle where I'm getting everything, right? You feel like there's something that's been hidden from you. Three of Wands. You're really still holding on to this, this old energy, right? The old world. Climbing up in that tower, right? Climbing up in that sort of misery, that tower. Um, very fearful of all of this. So let's go ahead and clarify here. Two of Wands. Okay. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, for some of you... Maybe you never thought you would actually have this stability that you have right now or that you'll have in November, right? And Ace of Swords, you're going to have to go through this sort of energy of learning to believe it, right? Because the Seven of Swords here, you feel, it feels deceptive, even though it isn't. Okay. The world is crossed by <laughs> Prince of Cups. Okay. You have done a lot of reflecting. And this is a very new energy to be in this energy where you are being seen, where you are liking who you are. And... Again, it's very complex energy. Three of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Okay. This is all new to you. The partnerships, the connections, the energy. Feels like it's very loosely tied together. Like your happiness is like dependent on something that may not feel very secure. But energetically, okay, it is solid. And you have no worries. Okay. So let's look a little bit more at that victim mentality. Yeah, you feel out a little bit out of control because it's all kind of coming at you. And you're just, right, overwhelmed. But again, three of cups here. Okay. This is faded. This is destiny. It's time for you to get your cup filled. Okay higher level energy here. It's time for you to have the access to that next level. December, okay? You're going to armor up a little bit, right? You're still afraid, but you're going to go after. You've got the courage, you know, listen, this is what I manifested. My intuition is telling me that this is for me, okay? And you are going to go all in. Now, we do have here, okay, Six of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. 
with the return of your embracing of this abundant mindset and moving out of the victim mindset, you may actually be calling in, okay, a second chance in either with someone from your past or um, new love. We've got the high priestess in reverse with the emperor. And so I don't feel like it's going to come to you fully until January. But we've got the fact that the emperor cannot see everything that's happening around their land. Okay. And that's is still leaving that residual sort of emotion, but you are, again, you're having faith, right? <laughs> that you wouldn't have gone through this tower if there wasn't a reason. So tell me about the emperor here. Yeah, okay, two of wands in reverse. Something does not line up, okay? And you can't really tell what it is. But it's actually, I feel like, the second chance approaching, okay? Because we've got that Ten of Cups. You just don't really see it yet. On the Six of Cups here with the Seven of Pentacles. Again, okay, you're stable for now. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You're stable for now. You're being courageous within yourself. You're loving on yourself. That is what's calling forth this abundance. Okay, and it is calling forth the Empress. Okay, so we do have a very divine connection here that is being called into place, right? There's a rebirth coming here. So I love that. Okay, let's look at this courage. Yeah, okay, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. There is an energy here, okay? Oops, and what just fell out? Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, there's an energy here that, again, I feel that there is a moving up, right? We started off with the King of Wands. We've got the um, King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, Um What's this one that fell? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, working hard. I feel like you are moving towards really hitting that emperor status. Okay, which would have, male or female doesn't matter, right? This coming into this divine connection that you've manifested, right? And it is what you've manifested and it is success coming forward, all right? Six of Wands, which is really very beautiful energy. So how is the universe helping you? Okay, Six of Wands in reverse. The universe is not making it easy, okay, because you tend to not really pay attention when things are easy, Aquarius. Okay, Five of Cups. You need to have looked at that victim mentality, looked at those emotions that attributed to that and see the actual joy and sunshine in your life. Three of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you had to do the work and see the stability and see the truth of the partnerships around you to set yourself free. This really is a reading about your own freedom to be, to love, okay, to succeed. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it is divine timing here, okay? We've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in the upright, okay? You had to walk through this emotional state to get to this strong stability okay you had to do the work on yourself here five of cups 
Yeah, and you had to do it alone. Again, here is the six of wands, right? You will have success, but you had to approach all of this kind of alone. Three of pentacles. Yeah, all right. It was time for you to feel a little bit of pressure, a little bit of burden, okay? Because that curiosity is really what fuels this transition forward. Okay, we've got the Princess of Swords here with the Six of Swords. And it is this being curious about this reflective energy, right? Again, you will come to the Ten of Swords. You will work through that. Right? You will see where you've just kind of let, I almost feel like let life happen to you, but you overcome that. And then we get the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, right? The Eight of Pentacles. Everything starts to pay off because you. it's like you're realizing, oh yeah, this is for me. Oh yeah, I did work for this right? So tell me a little bit more here from the universe about the king and this kiss. Yeah, white rose of hope. This is growing this light, this sun that's going to start coming in in October. This is growing, right? The king is the sun here. And it's to clear out all of that negative energy so that you can have that three of wands energy that movement forward okay the kiss the rose garden right again she looks like she's wearing like a little bit of a poinsettia here so it definitely feels like december um, and she's holding the blue butterfly, which to me is the divine partnership. So the kiss here, know that really what's meant for you is coming for you. Again, you'll have worked through most of this to see it come December. And then here we go. Oh, sunny day. It's like magic. Okay. It clears the air. You see things differently, right? Abracadabra. You are creating something very special. So let's close it off with an oracle. If you've enjoyed the message, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love it. You get the nothing card. This is the blank card here in this deck. And... It's really saying, I feel like, that nothing is written in stone. And that goes for the past as well. Okay? Everything that you have thought would not come to you, it was not written in stone that it couldn't come to you, right? And it is coming to you. And when it comes to you, the past, right? It's the reminding me of on, I was on a shamanic journey and the Easter Bunny put me in um, timeout, okay, in what they called the white room. And it really was, what they told me later was like a molecule of light. And they said, we just want you to sit here and think about what you've done. And I did have to sit there and think about, you know, how I had been the blockage for a lot of things in my life that had not gone the way that I wanted them to, that it wasn't that it didn't go the way I wanted it to. It was a very self-sabotaging energy. And I feel like that's what you're getting to at the bottom of the deck is a blank card too, right? You're realizing that you get to write your own story, right? <laughs> then we have... Um, the moon cat, right? You want to take over the world? Do it. There is nothing stopping you but you. Okay? So I hope this helps you. I hope you have a very beautiful next three months and a very beautiful week. And I hope to see you back here next week. All right? Much love. Bye.